Welcome to Fusion Fox tutorial. Today we will be focusing on how to use frame contract to create automated recurring purchase orders in the system. Okay, we have a business process robot which can generate these purchase orders automatically and send it to the respective vendor. Okay, so you can configure and set up such requirements in the system. Okay, so to, to do that we have to first go to the create a frame contract so we go to the contracts okay and we will go to frame contract okay and we will add here a new contract so I say if I can create a list of contract type in this case I'll be buying item okay so I will select item okay it's an open contract if I want to end this contract I can put up the end date of the contract and I go to the next primary party we can select a primary party in this case let's say uh, you know is, is the party okay and contract status is valid and payment terms you can define 100 percent on delivery party reference number this contract reference number which will be displayed in the purchase order can be defined here party reference date which date this contract was signed you can define let's say this was 12 11 <coughs> Now contract class you have to define that this contract to be activated when or it is a recurring you know uh, activity. So I select a recurring activity and define the frequency. So I select month okay. So monthly frequency means every month the system has to generate okay or this activity has to be repeated okay. So what is this activity will set up in due course in the next screen starting from let's say 1st December okay so from 1st December <coughs> this will happen okay the second part is not there vendor to customer okay termination reason if this contract is terminated so you can define later on you can edit if any tax applicable you can define that yeah this is subject to 5% tax or something credit days you can define 30 okay for the level <coughs> this particular contract will be at organization level or operating location level I mean you will be creating this uh, purchase order okay let's say operating unit so uh, we will select that this material has to be procured based on the demand or requirement from this particular operating location okay I can select that when uh, here create orders create purchase order or service order automatic or manual so I'm I'm telling the robot to create automatically purchase order so about I mean the robot will create in the midnight of 31st or on 1st January okay of 1st December in this case uh, appear automatically <coughs> okay frequency I already defined that it should be on monthly basis so first is from the first December so automatically from first January 2018 first February and so on so order approval is required or not required so system will only create a order and then uh, it will submit automatically based on the workflow that you select here for approval or you want system to automatically generate the purchase order and send it straight away to the vendor in an email or something then you can say not required if you say required then you have to select the workflow what workflow robot will use for taking due approval for this purchase order or service order whatever okay so in this case I say no not required okay and we go next 
this particular frame contract also can be approved electronically okay so you can set up a workflow okay it, it is based on the rules that you set up at operating location or organization level so if i have i have enforced the workflow any form frame contract created is subject to, to to certain approvals and i can define here which workflow to to be followed right so once this particular contract or frame contract is approved then only it will be in force or enforce right so till that time it is a draft contract has cannot system will not generate any any purchase order or service order against this okay qualifying budget also can be defined that if monthly consumables that you are procuring to consume budget from consume budget from which specific budget you can define that budget okay so if budget is available system will do the procurement budget is not available system will not procure you can set all these so i am selecting no budget because it's okay so juridiction justification sorry justification also can be defined why this frame contract is being created okay vendor signatory okay i say okay vendor approval vendor is approved this contract means signed already so i just save this okay now since this contract is created to procure material okay so in this case because there were three options item service and activity so i selected item item means material so i will add here a line here what is that i want to procure okay so in this case yeah so this this item unit is let's say you know uh, it is in you know uh, per box okay standard price is let's say 30 euro so i am procuring uh, lead time is seven days okay fine and then i am selecting the quantity because i have select the operating unit level so i will say how much quantity is required by which operating unit okay so i may say here level 1 is that by central warehouse okay central warehouse needs this material quantity is 20 boxes okay then i can add one more operating location here and i can select okay bearing plant gant okay it also needs 10 boxes okay every month so 30 is the recurring quantity automatically for this item is calculated now add another right line so i select second item so the rate is 38 7 days unit is box again and i am again for the second item i am defining okay central warehouse needs 40 boxes and bearing plant needs 32 boxes okay <clears throat> then i can add one more line in the contract i mean item in this case third item again it is box standard price is 20 22 days <coughs> yeah here is the third item so i add again so 
center warehouse needs 24 boxes and being plant you can have multiple warehouses or locations where this material is required and you can set up so i am in this case selecting only two okay and 16 boxes required by okay that's all i have set up everything now it is all set so all the information for this business process robot is ready okay once i save this and also i have to uh, you know uh, it is in open for edit mode because there is no work workflow selected so in this case i have to change the status to executed okay so that it will be considered as approved so i say open for executed okay go next 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 and save so it is all set now okay so now system will start creating purchase order automatically based on this particular contract frame contract that i have created and particular vendor this geo node will be going node will be automatically receiving purchase order from automated system on every on first of every month all right that's all we have in this session thanks for watching and we will see more in next tutorial